guys uh, hello and welcome to our online boxing sessions this is our first session and uh, i'm very happy that uh, uh, rushikesh and uh, me come together to to create this kind of a innovative you know you know initiative mm -hmm. to teach uh, the basics of introductory boxing through online courses uh, the main reason behind this was to to give people a basics of this game of boxing and to help them physically uh, to be physically fit as well as mentally fit because in this lockdown kind of situation uh, we are not only fa facing physical uh, health issues like weight gain and you know uh, sluggishness but at the same time we are also getting depressed and we are also getting irritation hamara chid chid ho raha hai so all these things are like all these problems that we are facing physical and mental are connected with each other and boxing can help us to uh, address these issues it can help you to build your uh, physical strength endurance speed agility and it's a very wonderful skill to have when it comes to self defense and it can also help you to reduce your depression anxiety it builds a sense of confidence in you it builds a sense of uh, you know uh, a courage in you so uh, that was the main initiative behind it uh, once again i want to introduce myself my name is anand shirsagar and uh, i have been associated with the game of boxing from past uh, 10 12 years i have represented myself in various uh, level of boxing competitions and uh, i have been my own uh, i have experienced this uh, goodness the good experiences of boxing physically and mentally in my own private life in my own personal life so i thought like in this kind of corona lockdown situation people should uh, also take a benefit of it so in this online class uh, we are going to start from scratch we are going to start from the warm up and then we are going to uh, proceed further for a boxing specific workouts uh, and step by step we are going to uh, learn the basics and the foundations of boxing like punches how to have a stance uh, boxing stance how to have a punches offense defense attack counter attack uh, movement and uh, idea behind uh, boxing techniques what are the technicalities how you generate force how you generate power in your punches so all those things so let's not um, uh, waste time now and let's begin okay sure yeah am i audible guys absolutely yes yes just uh, just uh, yes, give audible. me a confirmation by if i if i'm audible yeah उट Which muscle group it works, and how it works, and how it what benefit it gives. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay. Let's begin then. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, we are going to uh, have uh, a a warm up. A warm up is very important in any sport, in boxing as well. It helps you to boost down your whole body. It also gives you to increase your yeah. Okay, so warm up is a good for our whole body. It gives you to uh, you know it, it it relaxes your body, it relaxes your muscle. At the same time, it increases your blood flow and it makes you ready for a much more higher workout. So let's begin. So first workout is this: the jump. So move your hands like this. You know, see your feet. It should be completely. It should be completely free. Do we need to wear shoes? No. Uh, if you want to wear, you can wear it. If you don't wear it, out. It's okay. It's okay. Just continue. Can you see me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So this. It is very good for relaxing your whole body. Your hands should also get relaxed. Your fingers should also get relaxed. 
Let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now we are going to do the same workout, same uh, warm up, but we are going to clap. Okay? Like this. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Let's have five, six seconds of relaxation. Okay, now. Mm -hmm. When you put your left hand forward, then you should uh, put your right leg forward like this, like this, and like this. Like this. Opposite hand, opposite leg. So if there is a right hand forward, left leg forward. Then when there is a left hand forward, right leg forward. Like this, like this, like this, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Five seconds of relax, relaxation. Now, we are going to have a neck rotation. Neck rotation is very important for boxing because in actual uh, bouts, you get, all the, you get hit by all, all your face. So your neck is the main muscle group which takes all the damage. It takes all the shock. Okay? So your muscle should be, your neck muscle should be powerful, it should be uh, fit and you should be able to take the the blows you know so let's do uh just a second Yeah, yeah. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is it okay? Yes. Okay. Uh, guys, are you following me? Yes, yes. Yeah, is it going too much fast? Just let me know. Okay? Cool. Okay, so now we are going to have our neck rotation. Neck is a very important muscle when it comes to boxing because all your punches that you face on your face gets absorbed by your neck muscle. So neck muscle is a very important muscle group when it comes to boxing. So let's build the neck muscle through its warm-up exercises, okay? So first we are going to have a clockwise uh, rotation of muscles, neck muscle, then anti-clockwise, okay? So let's do it. One, two, do it slowly and have a bigger rotation, have a bigger rotation. Do it slowly. One, two, three, four, five. Now, anti clockwise, opposite. One, two, three, four, five. Now, up and down. One, two, Three, four, five. Now sideways. One, two, three, 
four, five. Now lateral sides, one. Now while doing that, you should focus on touching your chin to your this part of cavity. This cavity that we have in our shoulders, our our chin should be able to touch there. One, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Okay, are you with me, guys? All right. Now let's do the hand exercises, the hand warm up. One, two. While doing this, you have to focus while your hands are going up. You should breathe in. You should breathe in as much. Compress your chest and then exhale. This is very good for your whole upper structure. It builds your muscle in your chest area and it also builds an endurance in your muscles. It also build an oxygen carrying capacity in your whole, you know, uh, thoracic chest, in your whole uh, chest cavity. So it increases your stamina. So whenever you are raising your hands while doing this warm up, you should inhale and then exhale. Like that, okay? Now, now we are going to have a shoulder rotation. So keep your hand like this and move it in your shoulders, in the shoulders. Your shoulder should move. Your shoulder should move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now, opposite. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You should feel a strain over here while doing that. Okay? Now, When it comes to boxing, your vest, your vest region, okay, this region is a very important one because this is the region which builds a strength and it, it is the region which gives you the lateral movement. When it comes to boxing, your lateral movement is very important. This area, this uh, uh, vest area, okay, this is very important. The core, the abdomen is very important when it comes to boxing. So we need to build this area pretty much. So first, let's focus on that. Okay. Uh, have a distance in your neck like this. Keep your hands on your uh, vest and move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Larger circles. Eight, larger circles, nine, ten, anti clockwise, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This, this helps you to loosen up your core muscles core areas. Now, the advanced, advanced warm-up for this area would be this. I'm going to show you how it, how it done, uh, how we do it. Uh, see, again, we have to separate our legs, okay? Same position, 
go to your uh, bend down in your in your west but while going now while circulating you're going to move like this one move like this two three four five let's go back and again move and again come forward go back and again come forward go back and again come forward now opposite go back and move forward go back and move forward Guys, this exercise is very important because in boxing, when when your opponent is throwing punches, you know when when the opponent is throwing the punches, you should able to move. You know you should able to be very quick. And for that reason, this exercise, this exercise, is very important because it it helps you to build your core in such a way that it is not only powerful but also very flexible. Okay. Now, let's do the scissors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Touch your hands to your ankles. Seven, ankles. Eight. Touch your hands to the ankles. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now, lateral touches. Okay. Now you are going to touch your ankles from sideways. One. While doing that, you should feel the strain here on this part of your body, on this side of your uh, ribs. You should feel all the stretching. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Are you guys with me? Say yes. Okay. Now we are going to have a lateral stretch like this. Have a distance in your leg and just stretch like this. Go as as much forward as you can. Have a stretching here. Have a stretching on this part of your body. Okay, stretch, stretch. Now go this way. Stretch this part of your body. You should feel a stretching over here. Okay. You should feel a stretching over here. Now, let's move your hands like this. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, guys. In boxing, warm up holds a very important role because when it comes to uh, muscle exercises where you pull a lot of weights. And as and when you compare that with boxing, boxing is a very uh, tough when it comes to the pressure on your muscles. So, you so your muscles should be very uh, conditioned before starting any boxing workouts, so that we give too much emphasis, very much emphasis on uh, warm up warm up exercises, so that we will not have any muscle injury or ligament pull 
or any ligament tear or any cartilage tear. So it is very important. Always remember when you do any boxing exercises or when you're going to have any bag work or mitts work, you know, in boxing, uh, make sure that you do your warm up correctly and your body is, you know, warm and sweating and your, uh, you know, breathing is high so that you can do it properly without any injuries. Now, when it comes to boxing, let's focus on few ideas. Okay. Many people think that uh, boxing is a game of strength. So you do not need any technique. You do not need any uh, skill. All you do, all you need to do is just, just, just punch, just punch how, however you want to do it. You know, we see this thing in, in street fights, in rowdy fights, people do not have any skill, nothing, and they just throw punches. That is not the boxing. Boxing is an art, is a craft where you have a technique, where you have a guard, you have punches, you also have a, a defense, you have an attack, and you also have a counter attack. So that's how we work. Okay. So boxing is very different than street fights. So first of all, many people have this misconception that uh, in, in boxing, uh, people do not know how to have a good stance. First of all, people do not know how to have a good fist. People have this uh, you know, wrong perception that they have fist, fist like this, you know, like this, or like this, or like this. No, this is all wrong. You know, if you do that, you can break your thumbs, you can break your fingers, and that's damage to your own body. So while uh, doing boxing, the best way of having a fist in boxing is this. So whenever you're having to have a fist in a boxing, first you rotate your fingers and then you have your uh, thumb attached to it and keep your thumb down like this, like this. So first of all, you rotate your fingers and then you touch your uh, thumb and then take that thumb down. Do not take that thumb like this. Otherwise, this part will break. Okay, so keep it like this and your, your fist should be strong. Your fist should be tight. Okay, like this. So again. Okay, Are you got it? Nothing like this, nothing like that, nothing like this. No. Okay, so this is this should be your fist. Okay, now the fist is clear. In boxing, we all have to understand this thing that boxing is a game of your whole body mechanics. Um, very, very people, so much people have this misconception that in boxing, uh, you generate power, you generate brutal power through your own muscles. But that is not completely true. In boxing, you generate power through your own body weight. Your body has a weight. And you generate that weight. You push that weight on others. So you push your body weight on your opponent through the punch. And that creates a power. That creates a force. So to do that, you should have a very good stance in, body, uh, in boxing. If you do not have a good stance in your boxing, that uh, it, it, it defeats all the purpose. So let's learn. The basics, the very basics of boxing, which is the most important part in boxing, which is a stance in boxing. Okay, so I am. So, uh, yeah. Uh, can you just lower your camera a little bit? Yeah. yeah. Is it okay? Yeah, fine. Yeah. So in boxing, your stance is very important. Okay. If you have a wrong stance, uh, you will never generate power in your punches. You will never be quick in your legs. You will never be able to defend yourself. You will never be able to counter, attack and defense. So your stance is very important. So let's learn how to have a good boxing stance. It is the foundation of boxing and it is one of the most important things in boxing. So let's do this. Have a di distance in your leg about this much of 
you know, this much of uh, distance between your hands, that should be the uh, distance between your legs. Okay. And in boxing, you never touch your heels on the ground. You should always elevate it. Again, I repeat, never touch your heels on the ground. Never touch your heels on the ground. You know, always lift it up. Okay. Always lift it up. Because when you touch your heels on the uh, uh, on the ground, it slows you down. It slows you down. When you're on your toes, you're always moving. You're always quick. You're always agile. Okay. So it is very important never to touch your heels. Always elevate your heels and on be on your toes. Okay. So now have a distance in your leg. This much of distance of your hand between your legs and lift your leg on your toes. Never touch your heels. Lift it. Okay. Now, uh, while having a guard, you know, in boxing it is very important to it is very important to protect yourself. It is very important to protect yourself. At the same time, you should be able to, you know, uh, attack someone. So, first of all, you should be able to protect your kidneys, you know, your body. So, this area, this. You know, uh, elbows should touch here, here like this, okay. And rotate your, rotate your uh, hands, your fingers like this, okay. And touch this, touch this, this part, the the the, the thumb part, okay. To here, to here, like this, like this. And always keep your chin tucked. Never, never. Uh, pull your chin up. Chin is a very important part in boxing. When you get hit on your chin, you go knock down directly. No matter you're a six feet tall or you're seven feet tall or you're 400 kg or whatever you are. When you get hit hard on your chin, that's a knockout punch. You go down straight and cold. Okay. So always you have to protect your chin. In boxing, it is very important to protect your chin. So you always tuck in. You tuck in your, you tuck in your chin. And you protect your kidneys through this, okay, like this, and you touch this part of your head with your thumb, like this, okay, okay, like this, or just touch these fingers on your cheekbones, like this, okay. While doing that, make sure many people have this habit when they are fighting, they have this habit of rolling their. Uh, that tongue like this. But that is very dangerous because when you get hit, it can it, it can literally cut your whole uh, tongue out. I have seen these things happening. So in boxing, you should always, you know, uh, uh, tighten up your teeth strongly. Hmm? Like this. No tongue, no tongue out. Okay. Your teeth should be tight. Because in actual boxing matches, you use the gum shield, okay, to protect your teeth. Because many times you get hit on your jaws. So to protect your tongue, to protect your teeth, you should always close your jaw tight with your teeth. Okay. Again, once again, connect your elbows on your kidney like this. Your hand. Should be touching to your chin, okay. Other or just touch to your uh, forehead or just chin. That is perfect. Keep your chin down. Never keep your chin up because if you get hit on your chin, you will go down flat. Okay. So we do not want that. So keep your chin down. Your hand should be touching to your chin. Your kidney should be or your body or your lateral part of your body should be connected by covered by this part of your hands. Okay. And now, as I said earlier, as I said earlier, never touch your heels. Always lift it up on your toes. So when you do that, your front leg should have a weight of your body. Your front leg should hold a weight of your body. Your hind leg should be like a like a uh, like a tail. You know, if we see uh, a leopard or a cheetah running in the forest 
you will see their tail tail is very longer what is the use of tail in leopard and cheetah it helps you to make you know make them settle their balance while they are running very fast okay same is the reason same is the function of hind leg in boxing when you are when you are having your position okay all your weight of your body is on the front leg your hind leg your behind leg your back leg helps you to maintain the balance otherwise you will go disbalance you will go disbalance you will fall you will lose your balance and that we do not want so you should have a weight on your front leg you should not like this you should not not, not like this or not like that you should be a little bit up yes okay and this leg should have a balance of your whole body okay so like this your elbows are tucked to your Feet, your hands are touching to your chin, your uh, uh, cheekbones, your chin are down, and you're looking front. You're looking at the opponent's front body, okay? And eyes. That's what we are looking for. When you're looking at your opponent, you're looking at his eyes and his his you know upper body. So like this, okay? You got it. Uh, so far, are we clear? Okay, fine. Now, in boxing, many people uh, I have seen that uh, from their childhood they have a wrong understanding of breathing. Many people uh, inhale where they should be able to exhale, and they should uh, and they exhale where where they should inhale, because many people do it wrongly. so it is very wrong it is very uh, it is not good in boxing because in boxing uh, your breathing is very important because through the breathing you build your strength you build your stamina and through that you able to last for 2 3 4 5 rounds okay so your breathing pattern should be uh, correct and uh, you should you should uh, incorporate your breathing pattern in your punching pattern how i will show you you know uh again leg uh, front leg have a weight of my body hind leg have uh uh uh, uh you know support of my body it is it is very relaxed but it is holding all the balance of my body okay okay and this uh elbows are touching to my uh, kidneys chin is pressed down hands are tight my ears are uh, closed and my eyes is eyes on the opponent okay now when you are punching when you are punching in the boxing you should punch but while doing that your legs you know jab 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 is the first punch in boxing jab 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 okay so while doing jab we should move little bit front we should move little bit forward with your uh front leg okay by doing that our behind leg our hind leg should drag a little we should not go in air okay otherwise we'll go this balance so while you're doing jab which is the first punch in boxing which is the primary punch in boxing which is jab 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 so what i'm doing i'm also moving forward with my leg and i'm also bringing my behind leg forward so the my leg movement is like this this i'm taking a little step i'm taking a little step like 4 to 5 inch step like like this like this so i am moving forward with my front leg and i'm also bringing my hind leg forward so i'm not going this balance okay and maintaining the distance between my leg constant whenever i go forward or i go backward or i go sideways okay it is okay fine so as i said earlier that in boxing you should be able to incorporate your breathing pattern with your punching pattern because if you breathe wrong it will you know uh, it will make you fatigue very easily you will get tired very easily and you will lose your stamina very quickly so how we do is like this so when we punch 
and always remember many people have this bad habit that they punch half half way half way you should not punch it in a half way you should punch full so while while doing the jab jab when it goes forward you should throw all your body weight forward you know not just jagah se hi touch nahi karna hai jagah se touch nahi karna hai phekna hai apne aap ko apna weight jo weight jo hai wo dusre ke body pe transfer karna hai aur uske sath sath apne weight ke sath sath apna force jo hai wo bhi badhta hai so that's how we generate power in our punches otherwise we just do like this jagah se agar hum punch kar rahe hai so that it will never generate a power if you want to generate power in our punches we should able to transfer our weight our body weight in our punch so it should go like this okay so in in jab it should it should go straight it should go straight okay like a arrow like a arrow it goes it should go straight okay many people have this habit while they are doing jab their second hand is going like this that you know that is not good it should be like here always protecting this side of your body okay while doing that see my this area is covered by this part of my shoulder this part of my jaw this part of my chin is covered by this part of my shoulder so i am protected and this side also i am protected because glove is protecting me okay so like this okay so while doing a jab you should always go forward like a arrow and never never do a short punch completely use your range your hand range you should use it completely you know complete use of your hand range should be there that generates a power that generates a a, a space you know it helps you to generate a power it helps you to generate a force so that will be like this okay this is a jab this is a primary punch in boxing many people have this habit that when they when they hit a jab they just stay there they just stay there no when you the the quickly the way quickly you throw a jab the same way you should go back otherwise if you stay there longer your opponent will move i i have one question yes uh what is the footwork we do when we actually uh, you know uh, keep a back foot what is the footwork uh, we actually do it's the same footwork uh, or... okay uh, are you asking me that when you are going back are we using yes. the same footwork yes is it the right question uh, i mean uh, am i getting it correctly yes that's the question oh, okay okay i'll show you see when we are having a footwork our front leg is holding up a, a weight of your body you know this leg helps you to load your punch pack a punch in your you know pack a power in your punch so this front leg should hold a weight of your body your behind leg should be supporting your uh, it should support your body weight otherwise if it is in the air you will go disbalanced now when you are moving forward like this okay when you are moving forward when you move forward okay with the punch you are going forward same way same way when you go back you use your leg movement like this here when you go back when you go back you push your you you generate a push from your front leg and you go back like like this like this the same way we go forward same way we go back same way we go forward same way we go back forward back forward back so we can in, we can use this movement we can use this momentum 
to throw our punches. I'll show you once again. Okay. I am holding my stance. My chin is stuck down. My teeth is closed. Okay. My uh, my fist is connecting to my cheek. I'm looking at my opponent in his eyes. Okay. Jab. Okay. Now I want to go back by hitting. Here I'm going back. Here first I will use this leg to go back. Behind leg I will use first back. Back. Is it okay? Yes. Is it okay, guys? When do, yeah, yeah, that's fine. When do we shift weight from left to right or right to left? Yeah. So that will be uh, that is the lateral movements. You know, when we shift from left to right. And right to left, when we use this hooks, you know, hooks, hooks are advanced punches. So first, let's focus on the straight punches. Straight punches is a jab and the two. Okay. In boxing, it is either one, two or jab or two. Okay. So we are at the uh, straight punches right now. We are at our foundation right now. We are going to teach, we are going to see the hooks, then the uppercuts and the shovel hooks. It's a little bit later, later. Okay, we're going to see all of them, but today okay. we are going to focus on the, uh, the straight punches because straight punches is the best punches. That's what we call in boxing. Straight punches are the best punches. All the great boxers you see, Mike Tyson or Muhammad Ali, all these guys are very much good at straight punching because straight punching builds a power, it builds a stamina, and it creates a range. You can hit an opponent from a longer distance. So that's why straight punches are very good punches. Okay. Okay. So, so this is a jab. Okay. You're hitting. I can go back quickly. Don't roam around there for a longer period of time. Quickly you throw the punch. Quickly you should come back. Quickly you should throw the punch. Quickly you should go back. So that generates uh, a quickness in your punching pattern. The quickness is very important in boxing. If you are lazy, if you are slow, your opponent can hit you. You know, so having a strength is important in boxing. Having quickness is very important in boxing. Having agility is very important and should be able to shift your body weight from one leg to another leg is also very important in boxing. Okay. So okay. now we are going to see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so when you do the straight punches, you never shift the weight. Suppose if no, I'm on my leg, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Suppose if I'm on my leg, uh, you know my weight is on leg, uh, my left leg, uh -huh. yeah, front leg. Front leg is my left leg, and I'm pu pushing the punch from my left hand. Yes, yes. So, is there any situation that where I keep my left leg behind and then right leg uh, front? Uh, that is that is called a switching of legs. But that yeah, we do it when we move. Yeah, yeah. That is called a switching of legs. That we do when we do the bag work. When there's a bag like this, so you're saying like, like this. So your left leg is forward now, right leg and like this. For example, so here the left leg is shifting your shifting your legs. But that we do it when there is a bag where we are moving, when we are you know uh, moving away from our opponent. When we are creating angles in our punching pattern, that's an advanced work. So okay. let's focus on the uh, straight work. We are going to go there. We are definitely going to go there. But many, many of the people do this mistake that learning complexities in the game, they uh, tend to forget the basics. And the basics are the most important because uh, you know, you if you lose your breathing pattern correctly, if you lose your stance correctly, if you lose your body weight. Uh, projection correctly you if you lose it you cannot uh, survive for two rounds so it's very important to to master this basics first so now we are going to focus on jab and then two okay the jab is okay now have you are you okay with the jab yeah yeah, yeah any yeah. questions so far no no question it's okay 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 uh, is it okay is it comfortable am i going too much fast or too much slow no that's fine Okay. My only okay. question was with the weight only. 
yeah yeah i'll show you so, once again yeah. so yeah, yeah when we are going when we are throwing our jab which is our basic punch we are throwing our body weight through this leg forward we are not just standing in a same position and just throwing punch like this no we are going forward so we are aggressively pushing our weight we are aggressively pushing our body weight on your opponent that creates a thrust in your punch that creates a impact in your punch okay now now we have learned a jab quickly you should mount it quickly you should go back you should never lose the position of your hands if you lose it like this or like lag like that or like that your opponent will hit you okay so you should always maintain like this straight going for a jab straight coming back straight going back straight coming back straight going straight coming back okay never go like this or like that correct are you clear now let's go to the two this is a power shot this is a power punch okay why it is power punch because we use our whole wrist movement our whole you know this movement this rotation movement while going this punch okay so this create a lot of power if this if we master this punch it can have a knockout effect so how we do it let's learn it okay suppose we are landing our uh, jab okay now while pulling this hand back we are moving all, all our chest Oh, sorry all over west like like this one two one two you are moving all your all your west like this while doing that you should always see the movement of your hind leg it is very important because it helps you to maintain the balance of your uh, your punch when you are doing the uh, two punch with okay how i will show you okay now see this is your jab now you are doing the second look at my leg it is rotating like this like this like this like this it is not going in the air like this okay if you go if that leg, behind leg goes in the air you will lose your balance you will fall down and we do not want that so when you are going jab then going back again in the punch position you just moving your leg and all your waist all your waist should move should move should Okay, I'll show you once again. When you are doing the second jab, second, you are moving your leg like this, this. Okay. Is it okay? Uh, is it? Uh, do Do you have any question? Any Any doubts? Okay, I will show you it once again. Once. the jab and two jab two when you are landing two when you are hitting two you should able to use all your rest and move it move it that's why we use this exercise of this and that why because our our rest should be very much flexible and it should hold a power to move 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 okay so one two one two you should throw your all body weight okay that is the key of your generating power in your punches okay uh, while doing two while hitting the uh, two punches never forget that your hind leg your hind leg should rotate should rotate you know we should not go like this that that no we should always be on the ground touch to the ground and you should just move it
i hope guys you are clear with one and two that is jab and two which are the basic punches in the boxing these are called as straight punches in boxing and these are the one of the most important punches in the boxing these punches are useful to create a distance between your opponent okay at the same time these punches are also important to cover the distance quickly between you and your opponent okay one thing which is very important to uh, remember in boxing which is the last thing for today's uh, online session is this many people have this habit when they hit the punches they hold their breath they do not excel they just hold it and they just do it and they do not excel back and that keep keep them out of stamina that is the worst mistake any boxer can do so you should always inhale and exhale inhale and exhale your breathing pattern should always be continuous while doing boxing exercises how i'll teach you when you are landing your punches you should always exhale from the core of your belly you should exhale out okay so which every strike you have to breathe out with every strike you have to exhale out and that helps you to maintain a very continuous very cyclical and a very comfortable breathing pattern in your body that helps you to maintain your stamina and it not only helps you to build your stamina but it also helps you to uh, generate power in your punches so guys this was today's uh first online session uh today we learned from from the starting i will remind you again today we learn a uh, warm up which is a very important part in boxing because without warm up if you try to do boxing punches you will uh, injure your muscle you tear your ligament your you tear your cartilage and that will be a very long lasting injury and you should not do that second thing we learned is our you know stretching and endurance exercises in boxing uh that helps you to build and condition your muscles and make you ready for uh, you know strength and agility part of your boxing third that we learned today is stance always remember your your hand should touch to your chin your chin should always go down you should never be up otherwise you will get hit and that will be a knockout situation you do not want that uh, another thing that we learned today is always keep your teeth never like never like that it is very damaging it, you can cut your tongue you can cut your teeth and we do not want that okay uh one of the most important thing that we learned today is a stance and how we use a stance while doing stance our forward leg should hold a weight of your body our hind leg should hold a balance of your body okay uh after that we learned a jab which is a one which is the basic punch in boxing while doing that we also learned that when we are striking we are throwing our weight on your opponent without our ourselves getting disbalanced that is the important part we are throwing our weight forward but not getting disbalanced and last thing that we'll have learned is that the two which is a a power punch while doing that we are moving all our weight our vest should move our vest vest part should move aggressively that creates a power in our punch okay while doing that our hind leg should also rotate it should not go in the air okay right 1 2 1 2 1 so our hind leg is moving is moving is moving you know our ball of our leg the ball of our leg the ball of our toe should should we should move it in our hind leg the ball of our leg should move it okay our feet if we should move it like that so that we will not get disbalanced and we will generate as much as power as we can and last thing that we learn today is whenever we are striking our punches we should always exhale out from the core of our belly from the core of our belly okay and that helps us to maintain our balance and stamina okay guys so this was 
to all for today's session tomorrow we are going to learn uh, more advanced warm ups more advanced workouts and more advanced uh, punching uh, techniques like short punches and the uh, lateral body movements uh, these are all advanced things we are progressively going to uh, learn that uh, one more uh, request to all of the guys boxing is a very uh, uh, excruciating exercise it it helps you to dehydrate yourself you can see uh, i'm all sweat so drink lots of water uh, eat lots of green vegetables uh, eat salad uh, you know and uh, you know use a, a natural roughage in your food like uh, green vegetables and all so that helps you to maintain your stomach properly and uh, uh, after workout drink water after 15 to 20 minutes slow, you know uh, half a glass like that and you can also use a nimbu pani so that your uh, salt intake your electrolyte will also get uh, you know recharged in your body so th this was all uh, for today and uh, if you have any questions any doubts please let me know uh, i'm all ears no i think uh, this was a very informative session i was just having question with that uh, you know balance uh, balancing the you know body whether we should move the forward leg backward or backward leg forward so i think mm -hmm. that was clear thank you yeah yeah uh, you logesh can you hear me yes i can hear you yeah so do you have any question brother no 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 now it's fine okay uh, is it going too much fast or is it going too much slow no i think this pace is okay that's fine okay uh, is there anybody out there who, uh, to whom i don't know your name uh, uh amit do you have any questions okay. uh not for today uh, anand you you okay. took the session very patiently and then uh, as as yogesh mentioned it was very informative lot of interesting uh, tips and tricks you you taught us right and then uh, i am looking forward for tomorrow session definitely thank thanks so much for your time anand i just have one question uh, like in my childhood i used to learn karate well thank you uh, one more thing i want to uh, yeah yeah sure. anand there one question okay Uh, in in childhood i used to learn karate so yeah, yeah. i mean especially in 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 i used to go in shaka sang okay you must must have known the rss okay. so they used yes, to yes, you know, know teach us uh, a, a, a karate but that is in a sanskrit so when when they used to teach us a punch uh, you know they okay. used to teach us a half punch i mean you should not move your punch straight so if someone hits you you know your punch you would you know go away <laughs> rather than if you do the not exactly half punch but slightly you know in angular punch even if someone hits you at your hand it will no or not you no know, throw away from your body so i mean that was in my childhood i used to learn that so that's why i have a habit of half punch okay. so so okay. is it different from uh, in in karate whatever punches uh, we we learn and uh, in the boxing because this is the first time i literally uh, this is the first time i'm learning the boxing so i mean punches okay. are different in boxing and punches are different in karate right okay yes yes I'll, yeah yeah uh, is it your uh, your question is uh, finished or should i answer it yeah 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 my question is finished okay. that was it out see uh, in karate that we have a square stance right like this like that you know so you have a square stance but in boxing you are you have a vertical stance okay you are not square you are not stationary in boxing in karate in, uh, in boxing you are always moving you are always moving okay so while doing that you are punching in boxing you should make sure that we are when we are hitting in boxing we are not only hitting it for the sake of hitting it but we are also hitting an opponent to create a space between him and us that space is called as a range of our punch so if this is the uh, you know if this is the area of my punches this is the range this is my range where i can hit you know so that's how we use the straight punch and full punch to understand how much range that we have 
and when we go forward when we throw our weight we not only create a strength in our punch but we also create a more reach in our punches so there is a difference a little difference in karate and boxing and uh, uh, as we move forward we will see more interesting facts and more interesting techniques in boxing combat uh, movements and punches and all yeah okay thank you thank you anand does it does it answer your question yes it answered thank you uh, any other question from anybody guys it was amazing okay wonderful wonderful uh, rishikesh can you hear me yeah yeah i can hear you yeah yeah can you come on the uh, camera oh one second hello are you guys able to see yeah. me yes yes yeah. yeah so uh i want to thank you anand for conducting this session for everyone so that uh, everyone will uh, everyone has taken the advantage and they might have found it interesting right Right, guys. You found it here. Yes. So, uh, I think we should have start this bit early. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> that is the initial phase of uh, lockdown. It would have be really, you know, much more benefit. But never, never late than the, you know. Yeah. That's yeah. Like now we have got the platform, and uh, we can learn like any time at our home. So. uh it never like never say that it is too late so uh, one more thing uh, one more thing i want to add uh in this conversation is this i i personally uh, uh practicing this game of boxing from past more than 10 12 years and uh, many people have this conception that boxing is a violent game and uh, once you learn the boxing you should go out on the streets and start fighting and you get into fighting by your own no uh you should always remember that a good fighter always try to avoid fights a good fighter a wise fighter always try to avoid conflicts we should never uh, ourselves get into the trouble we should never uh, we should never ourselves get into the conflict we should avoid conflict as much as possible we are learning boxing for our workout for our physicality for our mental uh, strength and for our self defense not be a violent and not be a aggressor so uh, boxing is a gentle game it helps your body it uh, helps your integrity it helps your courage confidence and it helps your whole personality so uh, that is the whole idea behind uh, teaching the boxing never forget it is not for being violent or um, aggressive on anybody but to be more calm more confident and more uh, person with integrity amazing 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 thoughts like this should be the primary area that we need to focus if we are learning a sport like this so as you said yesterday like the strength come with great strength comes with the great responsibility so we need to honor this power comes with great responsibility yeah yeah so we need to honor this responsibility and take it in a very positive way uh, to keep ourselves uh, peaceful and uh, like we we get control of our body if we practice this for uh, further few more months so definitely yeah. have control on our thoughts on our emotions and it will help us mentally and uh, uh, emotionally to get more stable because of this competition as everyone is facing uh, challenges with their thoughts and emotions so we can overcome that if we practice this i also request, yeah yeah uh, i also request all of our friends yogesh and amit to share this uh, uh, innovative uh, initiative that we are in to your friends and your you know uh, well wishers so that they will also get benefit out of it yeah sure we do sure we do yeah so before starting tomorrow session uh, we'll just do some form correction like uh, what we have learned today so we'll just uh, everyone's form like whether they are doing correct or not so 
uh, everyone will get clear picture that whether they are doing right or not. So we'll go in the same pace. Yeah, that's fine. Yes. Yeah. So see you guys tomorrow. Uh, same timing, six to seven p.m. And make sure that you uh, eat lots of uh, green vegetables, drink lots of water, uh, re rehydrate yourself, uh, get a plenty of sleep, and uh, wear comfortable clothes. Uh, if you could able to wear uh, shoes, uh, gym shoes, it will be a good for you as, as well. Uh, no compulsion. If you want to wear it, you can wear it, uh, and just uh, uh, you know be a, in a comfortable clothes so that you can work out. You can try whatever I'm teaching you uh, simultaneously. So guys, see you tomorrow. Seven to uh, uh, sorry, six to seven p.m. Uh, same timing. Thank you so much. Thank you. I wish you Thank all you, the Anna. best. Luck.